all new at five. The son of Canada's consul general charged, as you know, in connection with the shooting that killed his brother at a hearing right now to determine if he should be let out of jail on bond. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has been in court all afternoon, and he's live tonight in Miami with what's being discussed. Gary. Well, if you are charged with murder, you may be entitled to bail if you can convince a judge there's a reasonable expectation that you would be found not guilty at trial. And that's what this young man is trying to achieve today. 15-year-old Mark Wabafiabazu came to court hoping to get bail as he awaits trial for felony first-degree murder. His mother, Miami's Consul General from Canada, in the courtroom as always. Surveillance video captured her older son, Gene, and young Mark arriving at a Coral Way apartment in their mom's car with diplomatic plates, allegedly looking to rip off a drug dealer in March. But moments after Gene leaves the car, shots ring out. The older brother and the drug dealer, Joshua Wright had shot each other dead. Anthony Rodriguez and another suspected dealer were wounded. Young Mark runs into the apartment, grabs one of his brother's guns, and fires several rounds. The defense's claim to attract attention and get help. The boy raised his hands in surrender the moment officers arrived. While he shot no one, he's charged with murder for participating in a crime where someone was killed. Just turned 15 year old. Uh, he's never been exposed to any. Aspect of the criminal justice system in his life to be in this situation. The defense has maintained Mark, the kid brother, was just tagging along the day of the killings, but a detective today described the drug den the two brothers ventured to. A scale that was found inside of the apartment. There was also uh, numerous pipes that were located throughout the interior of the apartment as well. There was plastic baggies uh, and uh, uh, scattered throughout. And Judge Teresa Pooler will hear from a cop who will say Mark admitted on his way to the station house that he and his brother went to the apartment with robbery in mind. His mother, the consul general, is also expected to testify. Now, Mark never gave a formal statement to police. He was never interrogated by detectives, but on his way to jail that afternoon, police officer happens to be transporting him uh, to the lockup, and he allegedly blurts out that he and his brother had gone to the apartment looking to rip off these drug dealers and that they had done it before. We will see what Judge Pooler makes of it all for now. We're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary